गवर्न विद कंज्यूमर प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन विद रूल्स टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी हियर आफ्टर सो वी आर गोइंग टू नो नेटसेल अबाउट दीज न्यू लॉ हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू इम्पैक्ट मेडिकल लॉ प्रैक्टिस how it is going to impact our health professionals at a large not only that telemedicine guidelines as i already shared is enacted with a very clearer guidelines in 2020 12th may initially the ccim the cch and the mci all the three apex body of a councils has came out with notification from their side on 25th march mci the board of governor under suppression of mci came with a draft the 6th april CCIM, what well, Inani Pathi, Ayurvedic, Siddhas, and Naturopathy doctor they came with regulations, and for homeopathy doctor the CCH came on 10th April and National Dental Council of India. But it was the first draft which adopted and notified by the government was a board of governors uh, draft in suppression of MCI, which got a clear go on 12th May 2020. So today we are going to know about these telemedicine laws also. Yes. i am just for your the kind permission i am just suggesting you during this covid 19 under the epidemic act 1897 government has came out with one of the beautiful law uh, in favor of a professionals where they have said that any attack on a professional any violence against the professional could be a very very severe punishable law and they came out with a notification for protecting or uh, health worker because lots of uh, places we have seen that health worker doctors had been beaten by the law violators so for them this law has already been imposed where the punishment is of 7 years penalty is of 7 lakhs and non bailable offence and it has been implemented on various places by various people in view of attack on a health professional so three major things which we have seen in very short duration from the parliament and side from the government side and today we are going to really learn and know about the consumer protection act 2019 and bill 2020 friend when this particular rules has been framed and put on a public domain for the objections from the people after the enactment of 2019 act on 9th august 2019 lots of hue cry has started in our country because health sector was earlier in 2018 draft was brought in the purview but because of the loss of associations and people who have marched and created objection government has dropped the health service word from the definition of a service but in 2019 they have not excluded health services and when rules was put on a public domain no objection was gone from our side and 2020 rule has been framed and been notified by the government and now become the law so these are the period where we remain in a confusion about the applicability of consumer act for health professionals and ambiguity remained from 2019 august i am taking lots of webinars and seminars to clarify our professionals as per the law interpretation that we are absolutely in the act in spite of government dropping health services word from service definition does not give us a protection because it is not excluded if not included not included is a one part not excluded is other part if it is not in exclusion list means deemed meaning that it is in inclusion list and after 2020 rules got framed i have got a thousands of whatsapp messages for having an answer of applicability of this 2020 rules and 2019 act of cpa in relation to health service provider so i thought why not clear the doubt of the people i have cleared multiple time today again let me clear you your doubt also because that is the major question which has been asked when i started speaking on cpa act we are we are involved or we are included and if yes then how and what way so let me clear you the doubt of yours friend consumer protection act 2019 very much includes health professionals i say so because the law maker was very clearly intended to bring health services under the domain of consumer protection act earlier in 
86th law, the same ambiguity was there. In service definition, there was no mention of health service provider. That's the reason the matter has gone to the Supreme Court in VP Satna's case. And in that case, Supreme Court very categorically interpreted and defined all services word of CP Act 1896-1986 and said that no health professionals are included in word of all services. And thereafter, we have started getting a loss of cases in consumer fora in relation to medical negligences. Now, when this 2019 Act came, since health services was dropped from the service definition, means that definition of service remains the same as the definition of 1986. So when the health services were not there and not here, it does not mean that it has not been included. So it is included, but we are going to see a lots of evidences which indicates that health professionals are very much under CPA Act 2019. I am going to show you all these evidences because as the lawyer, when we interpret the law, we read whole act, not a part. Being a doctor, when WhatsApp matches has started going uh, or becoming a viral after the rule got implemented, was with the angle of simple one part. So one part does not give a clearer idea. For the interpretation, we need to read complete whole act. And if you see whole CPA act, in multiple places, they have talked about omission, commission, negligence, talked a lot about the words which are directly or indirectly related to medical negligence. So let's understand why I say that Consumer Protection Act covers health professionals. So I'll show you the act to make you understand then how health professionals are directly brought in a purview of health professional. This is the act 2019, which got enacted uh, in 9th August 2019, if you see the rate date, it is 9th August 2019. Uh, Ministry of Law Justice has enacted and signed by the president very clearly. So that act has already came in a force from 2019, but rules were not notified. So it was awaited. If you read this act very clearly, it talks that central government by notification, this act shall apply to all goods and services. The moment all word comes, our health services also been included under the all. So all means everywhere. Now, if you go and see this act, I'm going to deal with all this uh, point, but I'm just giving you a little idea, unfair trade practice, uh, about, about unfair trade contract, uh, about the prices and other things. I'm going to speak on that, but I'm just trying to make you understand with your first answer to your first question. Are we are included in that if you see the definition of deficiency the definition of deficiency very clearly indicates any act of negligence or omission or a commission this is the word frequently used in the medical negligence practice omission by some doctor which other doctor will not do commission of something which other doctor would Definitely not do. See, Omi, I'll give you one or two examples to make you understand what do you mean by omission and commission. There was a case came to me where uh, the neurosurgeon uh, gone for uh, lumbar puncture. The local anesthesia is the standard protocol which need to be given, which was given or not was all question mark because patient died post LP, maybe because of disease. But the matter has gone to the consumer court where the allegation done by the complainant that my sister was taken to this particular department for LP. I have peeped in a window and seen that two people were hand holding this my sister and doctor was injecting something or pushing a needle in her vertebra without any anesthesia and she was crying. She was shouting and when the matter was heard the team of doctors said, no, we have given a local anesthesia and they have put on affidavit. But when medical record was observed by the team of this consumer fora, nowhere in a medical record, LA word or local anesthesia word was seen. When the procedure was done, nowhere, anywhere it is mentioned that under LA. So now since there was nothing on a medical record, it has been presumed by the court that local anesthesia was not given. And this is an omission on the part of 
medical practitioner and then they commented that is it is in human practice and since it is a standard protocol of giving anesthesia and not being given it comes under the deficiency in service and the penalty was given to this neurosurgeon friend omission and commission has been talked a lot in our country and it is related to medical negligence this evidence also very clearly says yes we come under the cpa act now if you see the establishment definition the establishment definition talks about the profession profession means all profession it's not only a doctor but profession of a chartered accountant profession of a company secretary any profession or pharmacy or medical store people every professional comes under the purview of staff statement so naturally they have already covered all the professionals uh, if you see the definition of harm they talked about personal injury illness or death basically mental agony has also been considered loss of consortium is considered you see the injury definition cost to a person body mind or property very clearly talks about the injury part print every part somewhere as the the things related to medical negligence has been talked in this particular act now uh, to make you more clearer about the fact how we are included we understand the definition of service now as i said the definition of service in old consumer protection act that is of 1986 and new consumer protection act of 2019 is a same and now if you read this definition as the advocate angle what it means services means a service of any description any description which is made available to potential user that is a patient it includes this is the very important word in the law includes but not limited to friends includes but not limited to means the things which is mentioned is included but which is not been mentioned is also included all services and then facility what they said banking finance insurance transport processing telecom here there was a word health services which was dropped by the law maker now since it is dropped it does not mean that it does not come under the limited word so includes but not limited to means what is not mentioned here and also a part of all services is a services which is covered under the law so friend there are a multiple uh, examples multiple things which indicate that medical negligence has been very much covered under the cpa act and not only that friend let me give you and clear your doubt all together at one shot if this would have been still been ambiguity if it is still a ambiguity that no it can be interpreted in another word so let me show you the rules of 2020 the rule of 2020 which was already enacted did a part in one rule of mediation that has been enacted on 2020 if you see the date of this particular rules under the cp act it is a date is 15th july 2020 so that rule was made by the consumer affair ministry under the cp act and if you read this rule of mediation it has cleared all ambiguity of medical practice because what they mentioned matters not to be referred to mediation mediation is one of the chapter of new cp act where out of court settlement has been become a legally possible where the mediator can listen to both the party and settle the matter in that what they said matter the matter relating to proceeding in respect to medical negligence resulting in a grievous injury or death friend when the cp act rules itself says that any medical negligence which lead to death or a grievous injury must not be referred to mediation has got reverse meaning which can be interpreted or inferred or inference meaning that all other matter must be decided by mediation these matter should be referred to the commission for deciding the matter on a merit so medical negligence matter is going to be decided either by the mediation in a simple negligence or in a grievous or death by the commission that is consumer commission or a state commission if we all see whole act and rules together today with all conviction i say friend health sector is very much included under the cpa act 2019
so there is no ambiguity remained there is no question remained that health sector is a part and parcel of cpa act 2019 or not friend once we have understood this that cpa act is going to govern once we have understood that the cpa act we are much in it is important for us to understand what precaution we need to take see friend it is very important for us to protect ourselves in medical legal liability criminal liability we can de definitely defend ourselves by medical record keeping because in criminal liability the jacob matthew case of supreme court the one of the landmark judgment given in 2005 which still holds good have given a very clearer guidelines that unless expert opinion is no professional should be arrested in medical negligence case and then if your medical records is good experts are going to speak in your favor so criminal medical negligence we are absolutely safe in majority of cases medical counsel negligence cases yes medical records are going to play a vital role play but when it comes to consumer court friend it is the penal of finances the painful part of any medical practitioner's life and friend consumer protection act talks about the financial penalties and now financial penalty has gone to extreme in 1986 act the lower court i am talking about a small district forum district forum could be mysore it could be pune it could be solapur in maharashtra it could be small district place were given a power to adjudicate case of 20 lakhs now the same has been increased to 1 crore so even for the villages even for the two tier and three tier cities patient they need not have to rush to the city or they need not have to rush to the capital of the state they can easily go to the consumer court the district commission and file a medical negligence case in tune of up to 1 crore not only that anything above 1 crore is been given a power to state commission who was having a power of just 1 crore now they have got a power of 10 crores so any pune people wanted to file a case mumbai court has got a power to adjudicate the case up to 10 crores in every state the capital but the new thing which has been brought under this particular act is a regional centers regional state commission centers now the horizon of a regional state commission is going to cover the complete state like in maharashtra earlier it was only mumbai bench now it could be regional benches of state commission so there could be nagpur bench there could be pune bench there could be kolapur bench it is going to apply the same in every states so now the access to the common people to the court become very easy because of this act and now now up to 10 crore cases are going to go to these courts and anything about 10 crore is going to be the national commission friend one most as a lawyer we have interpreted it what it mentioned in the act that consideration paid up to 1 crore Cons earlier it was all together 1 crore i am talking about the compensation mental agony the compensation of mental harassment loss of consortium legal fees all included should be 20 lakhs or must be 1 crore for the jurisdiction purpose but now new act says consideration paid so in medical practice friends in i am talking about medical practice i have hardly we will get as cases where the bill of 1 crore is going to happen with any patient even if at all patient remains for 6 6 month in hospital 6 6 month in hospital then also bill will not cross 1 crore so now 1 crore bill if paid then it can go to district commission more than 1 crore then state commission in nutshell every single medical negligence case is going to go to district commission only so friend now district commission is going to be role player in medical negligence cases now let's understand what all the highlights of this consumer protection act 2019 as i already said that unfair trade practice unfair trade practice and restrictive trade practice has been very very well defined in this particular act so what do you mean by unfair trade practice so any practice which is not in coherent with the patient like any contract unfair trade contract the word they mentioned like consent consent is a contract between two parties if contract has got any any of the provision 
which is one sided will be invalid year after like i'll give you example suppose i mention in a consent all the legality will be only be governed by mumbai court it become illegal if i mention that instead of consumer court arbitration will be preferred or only arbitration is going to be preferred it become invalid if you mention something which is one sided is going to be invalid so these are going to come under unfair trade contract so our consent is a contract various like prices i got a contract between the patient and hospital for the prices and the packages of the treatment suppose we have made a package for a particular angioplasty package or a bypass surgery package or a package of cosmetic things and all and if that has got some word which is not in coherent with the opponent party it will be termed as illegal ultra virus i'll give another example not for medical legal use is going to be ultra virus so unfair trade contract has been widely discussed under the cpa act 2019 which was not in 1986 so now every medical records which is going to be part and parcel of a contract are going to be governed by these courts for the purpose of the same also the consumer can go to the court second part which we need to understand is unfair trade practice now what do you mean unfair trade practice any trade practice which is not fair like competitive rates fixed rates all the things let me again talk about the consent i'll show you the judgment which has been passed by our consumer fora apex body that is national commission on july 6 last month which has created a hue and cry in our country where our medical practices are really been Uh, in in a question, you what next to be done? Uh, let let understand that judgment also because that is again the part and parcel of unfair trade practice. The judgment on informed consent. Uh, this was the judgment given by two judges bench on sixth July. That is National Commission. If you see the date, it is sixth July two thousand twenty. In a case of R J Stone and. where the case has gone to the national commission for deciding on a merit about the medical negligence case and if you see the observation done by this particular court uh, in this particular judgment now why i am talking about this judgment because this judgment is now a precedent will be followed in every lower court and this is going to be the winning for the advocates who are using the judgment now what they said however we cannot ignore the peculiarity of informed consent in the instance case which need prompt and proper rectification see the observation done by the court which needs prompt and proper rectification means across the country it is prescient to note that it is a pre printed form informed consent come under taking every hospital uses pre printed form having blank space for limited selective handwritten entries we keep name of doctor the procedure name of anesthetic these are blank what we put to put whatever we want so any handwritten entries for the signature the main body of the form is fixed pre printed such consent form fits into the any procedure any doctor any patient thus it will take a shape of informed consent so this will take a informed consent if someone after filling up the blank space in handwriting and affixing the signature of the patient and a witnesses this is to be administrative arbitrator see see how strongly they mention it is arbitrated in the sword the hospital and one sided high headness and unfair the word and deceptive on a part of hospital though the complainant has not been prejudiced in particular case see the observation done by the court friends try to understand what court mean to in this present case on merit they found there is no negligence the greatest plus point we do not find any deficiency in service medical negligence on a part of doctor and the hospital the complainant is frivolous bereft on a merit and ill conceived so dismissed but what further they said with reference to our observation on informed consent we but determined the uniform use of this pre printed fixed informed consent come undertaking form on the part of hospital to be unfair trade practice 
within the meaning of section 21 r of the act 1986 now again in 2019 the same unfair trade practice has been defined to be deposited with the consumer legal aid so how much compensation 10 lakh so 10 lakh compensation given you know penalty given to the hospital to be you know deposited in consumer aid and complaint in respect friend why i am sharing this judgment because in court of law the judgment plays vital role player this become a precedent for future if it has not been followed today also if we continue doing following the same pre printed form my all surgeons my all cosmetic people my all plastic surgeons my all aesthetic people and every dental people are totally dependent on consent and consent even in telemedicine is going to play a vital role if consent is not in current with both the parties it is going to be termed as unfair trade practice unfair trade contract which is actionable friend so it is very important to understand these factor in view of consumer protection act 2019 so let me give you little more highlight of cpa act for your better understanding uh, as i already shared with you the mediation rule let me give you one or two important aspect of this particular act so that uh, you can understand in a better way few of the important aspect which i really want that every delegates here should understand the first aspect is of advertisement advertisement was not considered earlier act in earlier act but today since medical practitioner under the mci guidelines under the ethics and ethics of 2002 rules are barred for giving advertisement barred for soliciting the patient and that was actionable under the state medical council where warning or suspicion used to be given but many of the hospitals many of the health center many of the cosmetic center used to do advertisement and there was no governing body to these centers because state medical council does not govern their registration long demand was there so now the government has included advertisement under the consumer protection act and because they have form a watchdog under the cpa act watchdog is a ccpa that is Con central consumer protection authority and central protection council is another chapter under cpa act who are the watchdog the investigation team investigation officer and this team has given all the powers even to penalize the people and this people have given a power to examine every advertisement so now even if it is not your patient but you have put advertisement on a television or you have put advertisement on a news print media or you have put advertisement on your website or any places and if third person who are not your patient also are not satisfied with advertisement where he feels it is unfair can approach consumer court they can approach ccpa they can approach council and council can investigate and if found the penalty is starting from 10 lakhs to 50 lakhs punishment is up to 3 years even for the endorser endorser before after photo we put like actor actresses endorsing all sort of a product are going to be question mark even they were brought under the cpa act the endorsers also can be penalized by 10 lakh rupees or 50 lakhs rupees also can be barred of taking any advertisement as assignment so lots of lots of strict things has been brought under cpa act when it talks about the advertisement so my friend here after we need to be very careful with our product when we advertise it or do advertisement like up to 80% discount up to 50% discount it has also been termed to be unfair trade practice because up to is ambiguous word court expect that you put directly 20% if you are putting up to 80% and giving 20% discount then it comes under unfair trade practice so everything has been now brought under the cp act friend advertisement like not only i am talking about medical practice but lots of nutraceutical product lots of ayurvedic product which has been like if at all coronal it can be penalized anything which mislead now latestly madras high court has ordered against the tablet coronal to give a interim suspension for sale of this because it is misleading to the client so lots of thing can be done 
the second change is the complainant and now complainant domain has increased from every part now complainant can be anyone and a complain of what type of complaint earlier we used to have a one complaint but now complaint includes everything unfair trade contract red practice which i talked about the consent service hired availed agreed availed by the people comes under deficiency a trader service charge more than the mrp value now what is the mrp value like we are using some implant to the patient or we are using some medicine to the patient or we are using some of like in the bypass surgery we use the stun so anything which is more than mrp which normally hospital bill takes is like fixed by under law is been going to be governed by cpi act so we cannot run away with the charges and one of the very important thing which we need to understand is agreed between the parties so agreed between the parties like a bypass surgery like a cosmetic procedure where both the parties are fixed the hair transplant the rate is fixed this much for this much graft so it is fixed between the parties so you cannot charge more than that if it is charged it comes under deficient services and moreover what they said displayed price exhibited by him under any law friend i'll tell you if you go and read your mci guidelines if you read the ethics and ethics 2002 regulation under the domain of unfair trade practice unethical practice and the duties of a doctor it is very clearly explained that every doctor must put or display the rates in their consulting room so when law says something and not been followed will come under deficiency in services another important aspect which we have found under this particular law is the other thing and uh, other thing which was very clearly defined is e-commerce so all sort of a telemedicine is governed by the consumer protection act so e business is covered and then misleading advertisement wherever the advertisement which is giving a guarantee warranty false claim false guarantee false is everything will be covered under this particular act of cpa and this is the new introduction under cpa 2019 is product liability and now if you read this what it says product liability is going to not only for the manufacturer but also to the service provider like i am being a doctor using implant on a patient i am just a service provider manufacturer is a johnson and johnson if anything goes wrong there we also are brought under the purview of so product liability has been extended to extreme and pro professional service provider is already included this particular act restrictive trade practice is very much defined under this act and one more unfair contract has been very clearly defined unfair trade practice has been defined everything has been taken one one of the warranty guarantee word i have already said you the warranty guarantee word has been already there prices about the prices and everything is now this is very important thing which to we need to understand what is it not issuing a bill or cash memo or a receipt of a good sold or services rendered in a such manner as been prescribed my friend in a medical law practice sorry in a medical practices today also in a micro interiors in a major cities 50% bill may not have been given to the patient now law expect that every single patient you treat you must issue a receipt and if receipt has not been issued then it is going to be unfair trade practice so we need to give a bill for everything i am not saying this practically impossible i am saying that what cpa act want and disclosing to other person any personal information given in a confidence my friend in a medical practice if you want to go for the surgery you need to disclose everything about the patient to their relatives now you need to be very careful while disclosing the fact about the patient you need to take a consent for the same otherwise it is under the law also and about this bill let me show you 
the format which government wants from you which government really wish that you should follow in every single patient so prescribed means issuing a bill cash memo is already prescribed in the rules rules of 2020 and what it says every bill must have name and address of a service provider consecutive serial number so bill cannot be tampered if it is a serial number with a 16 digit they have already prescribed the date of issue name of consumer description of service means if you have done episectomy you have to describe what you have done then taxable rate everything signature of authorized representative customer care number now this is very important the total price in single figure along with the breakup price showing all compulsory and voluntarily charges so you can understand you have used many of the product so usable product non usable product voluntary service nursing charges xyz everything need to be mentioned under the invoice itself and further they said electronic form is accepted the serial number of invoice bill cash memo or receipt to be issued by the seller service provider shall not be altered removed replaced or erased friend this is what is cpa act so we need to really follow the rules and regulation why i am sharing with you all people because friend if we know and we start following we can really make a difference now one more thing which i really wish to share with you in this particular there are a few more thing which i want to share to you in cpa which we need to know uh, uh, regarding the filing of complaint regarding the jurisdiction like filing of complaint now the complainant can file a complaint anywhere because the new provision which is added under the cpa act under the cpa act 2019 they have added one point which says consumer or a complainant can file a complaint where he reside or work for gain my friend if you are in metro cities you have examined the patient of uttar pradesh you have examined the patient of tamil nadu who may be in metro city for the job purpose got treated to you and wanted to trouble you he can file by showing his residential address at tamil nadu or up case against you so one thing is clear now friend for all medical practitioner the jurisdiction of defending a case is going to be all india in telemedicine also you are going to cater the patient across the country 130 crore population in telemedicine you are going to cater because law has allowed you and earlier in 2 lakh population there could be a 10 ophthalmologists in in 2 lakh population there could be 10 plastic surgeons but now in 130 crore population instead of practicing for 2 lakh you can practice for 130 crore population under telemedicine and telemedicine is going to be game changer because the medical tourism is inbuilt part of telemedicine once you have developed the trust with the patient on a consultation for any major surgery you can call a patient to your hospital at your territory and can go for a major surgeries which can be a part and parcel of medical tourism so telemedicine has opened the domain liability in telemedicine is again going to be all india because the patient of tamil nadu can file a case in madras medical council he can file a consumer court in their district he can file a criminal court in their district so now the jurisdiction of a filing a complaint under the cpa act 2019 or under telemedicine is across the country friend and we need to know few more things i am going to deal with a some important aspect of consumer protection but before i deal with more highlights of cpa let me talk about some liability because i am one sided talking only about the act but we need to understand our differences in that our defenses plays vital role player because liability we have seen cpi has shown a greatest liability to people but protection and defense with my 15 years in 18 years experience with handling 15000 today with all conviction i can share with you all people the best defense in every given scenario situation every given scenario situation for our people are going to be having indemnity policy friend the professional indemnity policy which must cover everything and medical legal service policy is the greatest defense third is your legal education which we are already in a part and parcel with the global institute 
So let me give a little height about the finish because we have already learned about liabilities. I am going to talk a few more liabilities, but let me touch upon the defenses because it plays a vital role. And I always believe that my professional who are giving a day and night services to my people, my professional who are unintentionally doing everything only with the goal of saving a life, must not be troubled by frivolous cases. I am going to speak about frivolous cases also. How the law has balanced. For frivolous cases, also how they have given a support to you. Also, in a case of frivolous cases, how you can claim to the consumer for frivolous cases. But prior to that, my professional should not get impacted. So let me give you a few highlight of that. Friend, consumer protection bill has really brought a greatest change in our country. We need to really think of defenses. So there are two major defenses. One is a indemnity policy second is a medical legal service policy so let's understand both indemnity policy my every doctor has got by default and they should have but now my interest and request to all my medical practitioners who are holding any indemnity policy please go home and read the terms condition because these are the policy they take without any thought and all the terms condition mentioned is all excluded part so latest technology is excluded out of court settlement is excluded cosmetic is excluded telemedicine is excluded everything comes with exclusion now friend doctors risk medical legal services where i am a part to that particular organization i already spoken to lots of insurance company and could able to bring a customized policy for the professional without any extra charge rather it is a discounted charges so whatever you are paying you can see the rate you paid to the insurer mention in your policy less than that maybe more than 20 30% less than that you will get the customized the policy because i have surrendered my medical degree only for the doctors so naturally i am working only for the doctors in country to safeguard their interest because they are saving us society at large so now the customized policy is available to you from doctors risk medical legal services you can call to global people they will help you also that numbers are there in that you have got one is to one one is to one means One case of one crore or ten case of ten lakh or five case five lakhs twenty cases is covered. My doctor, for the sake of a premium, take one is to four policy. Friend, please don't go for one is to four policy. One is to four means one crore policy, but four case of twenty five lakhs is covered. So you are not covered more than twenty five lakhs. So please don't do that. Take one is to one policy, which covers one crore for one case, ten lakhs for ten case, five lakhs for twenty case. So till the time crore. Second, always look for the out-of-court settlement. Now earlier, today also, my practitioner does the out-of-court settlement by their own because they are worried about their reputation. But the insurance company does not reimburse them in spite of having an indemnity policy. Now, since CPI Act has included mediation law, now once mediation laws came, the order is going to go from CPI Act only. So when order comes, you will have got a fair chance of getting a reimbursement in such a cases also. So having an out-of-court settlement. your policy must cover the legal pieces across the country naturally because the country you are going to have a various state district where you need to depend upon the local advocates because of the local languages so legal fees need to be taken care in that so legal fees to be covered and the most important thing the advanced technology the the, the advanced technology of lasik could be a pico surgery could be a laser surgery could be a liposuction could be a cosmetic surgery maybe a telemedicine maybe a second opinion online consultation you need to think of this also because latest technology coverage is mandate in today's policy because major liabilities are going to go through latest technologies so your indemnity policy must cover latest technology also cosmetic also doctor is medical legal services with a discounted prices has already uh, defined the the policy with a the new india insurance company also with ipco tokyo with the various insurance company available for you without any extra cost so you can contact you can go on internet find out dr arun mishra find out doctors risk medical legal services and contact these people or their website and you can have a beautiful policy coverage for you but addition to that our organization is not a indemnity policy provider organization indemnity policy is added support to my doctor doctors is medical legal services formed in 2005 launched in 2006 serving the country for last 15 years only for the cause of a doctors in a medical law services 
in medical legal services with my experience what i found if my doctor has got a added coverage of medical legal services no case goes against them why i say so because in 15000 cases across the country which i have handled personally not even 0.5% has gone to the court of law see it is not that miracle done it is only loss sharing what i am doing today with you it is loss sharing with the my doctor at a given scenario situation so medical legal service policy covers every possible thing which is not covered in indemnity policy i'll give example pre litigation if there is a argument with the patient and you feel that is going to be a potent litigant call your medical legal service provider call me make your audit of your opd paper ipd paper get ready with the things get ready with the law so that in future if at all there is any chance you can be protected and if you get a knowledge you are going to act accordingly and the case is not going to go against you my doctor never wanted to lose their reputation friend so they don't want to have a case and that's the reason why medical legal service policy plays a vital role player like any notices comes which is not been covered in indemnity policy you need to answer a notice in such a way that case does not go in court of law opponent also understand how the answer has been given so they don't go third during suppose you are doing a surgery and something has happened medical accident has happened you can immediately scan your medical paper you can immediately photo your medical paper and share with medical legal expert because they are available 24 by 7 to you my friend what happens if your medical records are properly been audited by legal people and a medical people believe me majority of case comes in your favor because in criminal court medical records play a vital role in a consumer protection medical record plays a vital role in a medical council medical record i'll give an example why is this so there was a case came where my doctor has made all the paper in a case of operation where death has happened when it got to committee for opinion committee is opinized that when froth was observed clear indication of pulmonary edema why diuretic lessix given after 45 minutes it's not that my doctor is not given on time the particular of writing the things may have mismatched so like this lots of thing happen if you share your medical paper from ot to a medical legal expert and then after getting approved declare the death and given to the police in adr file believe me my friend later you didn't get a opportunity once you have given a uh, once you declare the death and police involved for the post mortem adr file get filed you need to submit your medical record immediately and thereafter you cannot change your medical record so medical record is not that you should tamper or modify it's that you what is not been mentioned which you have done should be mentioned there all recitation to be properly mentioned investigation to be properly mentioned so during also you are going to need a medical legal expert which is not covered in indemnity policy post suppose advocate appointed by indemnity company are going to struggle because of medical words my advocates are very good but they are struggling with the medical terminology and they are over dependent on you you are busy they are busy they will be free in evening you will be busy in evening both does not mean she is other and the same drop goes to the court of law and that is the reason why lots of precedent got decided because of incomplete improper drafts to the court friend post also medical legal services people are there you can just share the draft they will go through in a medical angle they will go with their experience they will go with their legal angle and give you go ahead then you can submit a draft so before during and after medical legal experts are always there for you to help not only that like many of the time defamation cases now it's very common out of 130 crore population around 80 crore population are youngsters in our country they are master in internet they are very easily defame our people all my plastic surgeon all my cosmetic surgeon they must have experienced every day how they these people youngsters are defaming them friend we have got legal remedies you can immediately stop this defamer you need to just send a notice to these people if you worry with the notice they also worry with the notice i have done multiple cases friend sending a notices answering a notices comes under medico legal services where you do not have to pay any extra payment to the medico legal service provider because that is included handling mob you can discuss and take their experiences now lots of youtube channel came out with the news channels so the smaller reporter also comes to you put the word in your mouth try to take what they want and then extortion starts friend how to speak to media is also needed to be discussed with the medico legal experts not only that friend the recovery is one of the major challenge in medical practice my doctors are losing lakhs of rupees in a year either patient is not paid 
or ran away or partly paid or check got bounced but my practitioner their hardened money their legal money also they cannot recover because they don't know have a law support friend your medical legal service gives that support also you can send the notices to these people i have seen that with the notice 50% recovery is guaranteed because for the 10000 they don't go to advocate they rush to you so friend every services which has not been covered under indemnity policy is a part and parcel of medical legal service policy from doctor says medical legal services it is available in just 1000 rupees per month very minute very simple amount even if you would send one notice in a year your whole money is recovered it is not made for the profit making it is made only with a view to protect my doctor so that they can protect the society at large friend because you are needed to the society with a fearful mind with a shaking hand you cannot give a proper treatment the with the fear of a law you cannot give a real treatment to your patient so it is not your loss it is loss of society it is loss of a country and only to take care of that society people only to take care of this needy people the poor people we are providing a services to the doctor who are the next god to the society only with the intention that with all confidence pushed in you by the protection of a law by sharing a law if you can save a life it is a, a great achievement i have seen friend in my personal experiences if my patient comes to me also and to my practice also or road traffic accident patient comes to us also we know that we can save this guy but because of the 50 50 chance we refer to tertiary care center because of the law fear friend in golden hour period knowing that traffic is going to be there the guy who can be saved loses their life friend this is not one life their mother father their wife their child everyone financially dies my friend if i can really create a confidence amongst you and take out a fear of law you can really help a society that the reason why charges are absolutely nominal which is the administration charges going to be 1000 rupees a month so have a medical legal service policy from doctors risk have a indemnity policy from doctors risk nationally uh, added on uh, support to you and further is to that legal education as i am here to educate you we have got a lots of global institute runs a lot you can go to global website they run a food and supplement course food and nutrition course they run a telemedicine uh, online courses they run a medico legal trainer program they run digital marketing program all supporting to your medical practice yes medico legal consultant program is my domain because i cannot go across the country now because post covid so i wanted to create a medico legal consultant every state only with the view and ambition of protecting my doctor if i can part my 15 years of experience with someone who can be a support to their society member in their state it has been achievement for the purpose of the same i have started a parting my knowledge a practical knowledge in the form of medical legal program which you can opt for that is available with the global where i teach complete crpc ipc consumer protection act evidence act and greatest plus point friend if you want you can appear in quasi judicial body you need not have to be educated in quasi judicial body like consumer protection or consumer commission or in medical council where 90% of cases of medical practice or goes you can appear without any llb degree if you want to appear in criminal court then also you need to have a bar council registration to take advantage of serving a society by doing this such program you can be see at least for name sake you do because you be a doctor you being a medico legal consultant can be recognized by the society and you can be a center figure to your people so you can do anyone can do that that is my flagship program coming back to uh, consumer protection act a few more highlights friend before i take a question answer in another 5 minutes uh, the new law says very clearly if at all case is not get admitted if case get not ad admitted within 21 days it is deemed that it is a admitted friend very 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 problematic uh, thing for the medical practitioner in indian court earlier we used to get the opportunity to argue matter during admission stage and in our court we understand after login how many days it takes for taking a date but now since law has already brought in a act ki after login number if within 21 days it is not been heard then it is deemed admitted in my opinion now here after every medical negligence case without having any expert opinion 
without having any authentic merit can be admitted in court of law so rest very clear that lots of cases are going to go to consumer court second thing what they said very clearly under this act that earlier if complainant used to file a case and thereafter never used to come to the court case used to get dismissed in a court of law but now what court says if complaint does not come then you should not dismiss the case you should decide the case on the merit so another setback to the service provider and like this lots of changes has been brought under consumer protection act friend my friend even if it all law is like that if you are protected by medico legal service provider and a consumer protection act known people if you are protected by doctors risk medico legal services or by education by global believe me nothing is going to happen to you friend i am always there my numbers are there any number of time you can call me if i don't pick up call i am going to give you back that is rest assured for any support in medical law i am there i can see lots of people are interested in question answer i can see lots of question in chat box and question answer box uh, i allow my audience to speak to me so if you want to ask any question in person please raise your hand there's an icon of raising a hand i will allow you to speak and then you can speak to me directly and if not then i'll take a question answer from question answer bank i can see sasanka raising a hand uh, chatta ji i am just allowed you to speak you can go ahead you can unmute yourself and speak to me i have seen your raise hand till the time you are trying i'll allow pravina pravina you can speak you just unmute yourself there is an icon you just click on that yes sasanka you can go ahead i can hear you yeah dr chatterji yeah pravina if you can hear me either yes, of two yes sir yeah sir yeah. I, i want to know see when it is a medico legal case like protection act sasanka let pravina complete sasanka just hold for a second yeah pravina yeah there are many the whole team is involved so is it only the doctor who would be um, you know like um, caught under this medical protection act or the other team members are Everyone. also in i'll 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 tell you pravin i got your answer uh, yeah. see it is it is on advocate who yeah. files the case nowadays advocates are going through medical papers and every people who have signed on a medical record or a medical paper has made a party reason behind oh. that when i have discussed with various advocates they said that if at all we make a 10 doctor as a party doctor among them fight with each other and push a, and do a blame game on each other and we get a benefit of that because the affidavit in contra filed by two doctors is a beneficial to us so nowadays advocates are filing a cases against every people but i'll i'll add out to your question the in many of the in one case which i have got of uh, uh, bangalore where the government hospital hod was not seen the patient not seen the patient patient came to their ortho department houseman has given injection which lead to injection abscess and death i am talking and 28 crore compensation case was filed in that case i argued for the physician who referred and i got a result in her favor but the hod the head whose name was there on opd paper in government hospital never seen the patient was a made a party and court said that you being a head of the department are responsible for cleanliness disinfectant hygiene of your department since it is a injection abscess case we cannot relieve you from liability as vicarious so you have to defend yourself on a merit so friend any doctor can be made yeah apart. so my question is the injection may have been given by a nurse so if it is a may, case of but, injection but, but abscess, actually doctor is going to be the under the doctor also part. yeah yeah it is under the doctor so doctor is going to be a part yeah no, so because nurses are nurses no, are also trained they are registered and uh, they are not uh, been caught under the consumer protection act they are also under that consumer protection even the nurses are going to be a party okay are there any such cases non paramedical both are going to be a party yeah. Yeah, somebody who does a blood collection somebody who does you know like some procedure on the patient yeah yeah pravin i said the whole team it is on advocate who to make a party uh, or not okay. okay thank you sir Yeah, yeah, Sushanka, please. Thank you, Pravina. No, it was just a mistake by touch. Oh no, you know, no issue, no issue. Oh. Yeah, Ravi Shankar. Ravi Shankar, you can go ahead. I have unmuted you, Nagarajan. Yeah, please. Nagarajan, can you hear me?
okay till the time i'll unmute uh, madalkar i have already spoken srikant you can unmute yourself srikant uh, hello sir uh, good afternoon thank you again for yeah, good afternoon time. yeah uh, sorry to ask you so many questions but i'll just quickly go through it uh, i just want to know what is the basic definition of service sir because uh, if i pay my lawyer his uh, fees will that constitute as a service uh, court takes court fees will that constitute as a service and if government doctor is not uh, you know taking any fees and treating patient free does it constitute as a service in consumer protection act mm-hmm. consumer protection act if you have gone through the act it says that ki if one patient is charged and 99 patient is not being charged then also you come under the services or part you charge in fully like in government hospital 10 rupees form so 10 rupees is charged means government hospital come under the purview of these particular thing okay what about the judiciary sir judiciary is uh, immune under cpi act because of supreme court judgment uh uh-huh. and uh, uh, what is this because of a stay or something like that pardon is it due to a stay or something like that taken yeah there is, there is there is there uh-huh. is for advocate there is uh uh-huh. because they are saying that the stay only lasts for 6 months it can't be extrapolated hey. to 11 years hey. so what is yeah but it is that? going there into judiciary uh uh-huh. okay uh i mean say uh, you say that the uh, you know health services were excluded under one clause but uh, uh, sort of included in other clause i mean so what is the government's intention you know was the intention of government intention is very clear to bring health services in uh, purview of cpi government is very clear not See, to why take them government off. will work for 1% people a medical practice the 99% people is a consumer mm-hmm. okay but the, then why did they take the health services doctor uh, don't go for oat also if you agree with me yeah i mean why did they why did they take the health services out of the that inclusion list from 1986 the inclusion just to make see politicians you being a logical people you can understand all so it's just a, a vote bank politics that kind of thing <laughs> but today it is included that is one thing is clear okay. yeah and yes. this Yes, written type cons- written type consent you know as unfair trade practice i think written type consent is used uh, globally throughout the world none of the overseas judiciary has issue i really don't understand you know because as as a doctor you know that there are thousands of procedures in each field each field uh, you know e- each condition has got five or six operations you know and you can't really write every o- operation or ask it just to form a consent for each particular operation for that particular patient in their own language isn't it so what is the you know practical i appreciate srikantha i appreciate your concern but i'll tell you in two member batch one 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 of the judges a doctor itself who has uh, given a in, judgment and now in, in the judgment case, given uh, we uh, if at all we are not happy with the judgment we need to proceed, go to supreme court to quash this judgment otherwise uh, this is going to remain as a law till the time parliament overrules or state overrules okay can i come in yeah imtiaz please go ahead acha i am dr imtiaz from bombay yeah. now i am a gender practitioner for past 34 years right as you as yes you said i have to keep the record of all the patients i am a okay. gp what sort of a record should i keep in my clinic what will be helpful for me in uh, can you assure i'll tell you of, i'll tell you imtiaz all medical records see law applies for the gp and consultant both together so uh, naturally all medical records see basically opd paper is going to be a uh, challenge for general practitioner because hundreds of patient they see every day yeah. my advice that you can make a family paper and you can mention on a prescription to the patient that your medical records is with us and give a prescription all to the patient so you do not have to make a copy of that and whenever patient want to op- opd paper a medical record from years you have got a family paper you can definitely give a xerox of that but by law you need to because there is already judgment given in mumbai only uh, against one of mbbs doctor who was given a clean sheet on a merit where injection was uh, the question given to the patient and caused lead, caused the abscess uh, but only because the medical record was not submitted to consumer court that to be from the doctor actually it should be from the patient side court has found that not keeping a medical record opd record also contra- comes under the deficiency and negative inferences taken and penalty of 25000 was done so now the court is looking to the things in different angle context all together so if i go with the law my request to every general practitioner also to give a record the way easy to them and now electronic documents are going to be a future of the country which has been accepted by uh, various laws in a country so you can uh, jump in for the software where you can keep a electronic record of the patient so what is the format can you 
uh, tell me what what format, name format, address format i'll tell you format is if you go to uh, any of the mci guidelines the format of opd is very clearly given as appendix in that uh, i'll share you that no problem in that in case you can contact me i'll share you that format yeah, and yeah, you can please. keep in an electronic record yeah please thank you yeah pakka yeah dr rajendra you can speak to me i can see your hand dr rajendra shinde yeah, yeah hello sir uh, I, uh, yeah hello Yes, sir. I want to know whether postgraduates are responsible for their mistakes they commit, or only the doctor. Are they responsible for what? Like the, for medical negligence, whether if they do any medical negligence. Naturally, no, because you are they are undergraduate, postgraduate. They have completed one year, got a medical registration with you of undergraduate or postgraduate, and you are practicing under that particular license in any hospital. Even you are doing a postgraduate hospitalship or course in, but on the basis of MBBS degree, you are gone there. So, if advocate makes you party, you need to defend yourself. Uh, no, but if they are practicing some speciality, like in pediatrics, like medicine, they before that they could have learnt uh, only MBBS. But now, as they are practicing speciality, that in such scenarios, like OBGYN. Yeah, if pediatric. you are practicing under speciality, you are going to because ultimately it is a team who is going to be responsible. But you made a party, you can really be defended because I'll tell you there are a judgment which is very clearly said that. Uh, Very clearly, it is talked that ki the employees and other people, are the like uh, other consultant are being a part and parcel of the hospital. So major, major compensation goes to the hospital. That's the reason why we say hospital indemnity is mandatory now, because hospital is going to responsible for their paramedical staff, their unqualified staff, their qualified staff, their cons- visiting consultant, their student. So every hospital must have indemnity policy. So hospital is the mandate. so you can be defended in a policy of the hospital itself mr uh, actually what time uh, like seeing nowadays no nowadays post graduates are also become more relaxed means they are feeling everything is like it, uh, the burden will go to consultant so uh, i can not i can understand but now we are in a country which is developing and going to develop the country very soon so we need to be prepared for that okay thank you sir thank you very much yeah indrajit yeah thanks rajendra yeah indrajit you can speak to me yeah sir so i wanted to know about two things one was the consent so the blanket consent as we all read that you know now it is not valid we've always been taking handwritten consents from the patients one of my patients i had he like he told in the medical board that this consent was made like they made me sign it under stress i was under duress i wanted surgery i signed it so we started taking video consents audio and video consents of all the patients so now do you think that those audio and video consents hold merit or not i'll tell you yes to that because video consent is a good piece of investigation paper or investigation part uh, but sooner or later the law is going to come where video consent is going to be like in a telemedicine they have already included video audio consent and now the soon is going to be a video consent is going to be important part because only the reason was the tampering of the video the morphing of the picture or voice over which was very much possible the video consent was not given a legal ground but with the forensic examination it has been given and accepted under the it act 2000 and amendment 2010 and 11 very clearly talked about there are the guidelines for using electronic document and electronic evidences so video consent is a very good consent i always advise that ki please inform a patient that you have been video recorded before taking a video consulting and you can keep as a medical record so that it can give a added advantage to you all right one more thing sir uh, one patient i had had uh, he came to me midnight with a sharp cut injury on his forearm i operated and uh, few days later i get a the mlc was done in a civil hospital nearby in the district hospital and in the mlc it was written as a blunt injury it was a clean cut sharp injury to the forearm which was written as blunt and uh, because i had operated and i wrote you know sharp injury and i gave it to the attenders it went back to the district hospital and i was called from district hospital saying if we have written blunt how can you write sharp we are government hospital we have we have power above you so i yes, mean yes. if our fellow doctors say all that <laughs> i don't know what what should no, i do no indrajit it's not like that they can definitely take a advantage being a government doctor but i'll tell you what law says if at all in future you get such a cases my request that ki you again do mlc because it is even if it done by uh, civil hospital do mlc send your report so that tomorrow 
uh, what you said is going to be a hold good because you being a treating doctor so that can that can be uh, in a conflict of two you can be given advantage to that no but how can uh, the same patient have two mlcs cut i mean is that it, you just intimate na ki mlc done at civil hospital i am just restating and giving a uh, details of the same because then police is going to come to you for the injury certificate not to the civil hospital so anyways the police will come to me because i am the treating doctor i give the discharge ah, so so naturally injury certificate when you are going to say whatever you are going to say is going to hold good that is the for the advocate to do a uh, cross examination in trial to you also to uh, other guy also and uh, in the same case the patient gave me history of knife stab injury and a beer bottle stab injury and i in the diagnosis mentioned right forearm fire uh, knife stab injury so the doctors again say you cannot write this in the diagnosis i don't know from the medical so let them say na see i'll tell you law says that there could be a high chances of difference of opinion between two professionals okay. the law says i'm talking about law the judgment yes, says those, those there is a two opinion is possible on the same case but does does not count a negligence so there is see medical science is abstract science try to understand two opinions can be differ for the same thing so not to worry it is going to be it is considered as a possible things so it can be defended in court of law in any given scenario so don't go with the argument with your own colleagues let law people decide you directly tell to the government of uh, colleague ki i have written this let uh, court call me and i'll explain them why you need to explain to your colleague that that's what i did in the end he said i'll say, i'll put a medical board against you and all that and i yeah, let him put na i'll explain to them you being an expert i have done that all right directly okay. medical board cannot be put without any cause exactly that's what we were thinking but anyway thank not you to worry, not to worry not to worry not to worry you, i'll keep you updated of the case not to worry right so thank you thank you yes bandupade if you can hear me this is i can hear you yeah please uh, i just wanted to ask what are the points for uh, consent points for anesthesia and anesthesia. if i can Yes, yes. I'll tell you one of the best field in the country is anesthesia, but anesthetic are not, <laughs> not at yes. all, have got a unity amongst them, and yes, and in yes. across the country, I have spoken a lot for anesthetic. They are the high risk mm-hmm. people in every procedure per se, every procedure per se, but yes, they have yes. been paid, never paid fifty percent of that procedure, so exploited yes. by all the people. My friend, anesthetic <laughs> is the high risk people for silent features only. I think. i will tell you that you need to have a separate consent for every procedure don't go with the consent of a surgeon with whom you are okay. associated or gynec your consent should okay. be separate a very okay. important for you to have a pre examination of the patient the patient is admitted earlier day please yes, do sir. visit and charge your visit fee because law expects you to give a pre right. assessment you need to okay. very clear with your medical record whatever anesthesia you are given you need uh-huh. to be very clearly a patient yes. coming out of the anesthesia mention the time so that tomorrow there is a high chance that happens after patient came out of the anesthesia 2 hours later 5 hours later because of the disease but anesthetic been pulled in a picture but if you have mentioned prior i have argued for anesthesia one case of tl death where she has mentioned that patient came out patient died after hour but i could able to save that anesthetic only on that particular word that my role was done properly in a in proper delegant way patient death maybe because of anything but why i should be pulled in that so you all have to take a care and in future if i am taking for anesthetic only a lecture please do attend and there could be my videos which i have taken for anesthetic i have described every aspect of anesthetic in that please go through you may find on the global website you can subscribe that and uh, see that i have spoken only for anesthetic in that okay and what uh, if i change the procedure uh, during surgery um, anesthesia procedure uh, like i am um, if i have given spinal anesthesia and i change to ga then what you always always prepare for that jarna i'll tell you i have got a cases like yeah. that where okay. in the pile surgery uh, the patient mm-hmm. was guided for spinal and later was given a general anesthesia and patient went yeah. to cardiac arrest in 10 crore compensation cases going against the anesthetic also only request right. that when you have got any doubt that there could be a chance mm-hmm. of changing anesthesia because of the fattiness of the patient because of uh, any other element please take a consent right. at one go 
because later patient is not going to be your consent when you change the procedure so you take a consent and one go for the spinal also for ga also whichever you use no harm you can be protected in that mm -hmm. okay thank you thank you okay Vinay. thank you yes vijay <laughs> vijay kabra vijay kabre vijay can you hear me you can unmute yourself vijay okay pushkar sha yeah vijay go ahead Uh, yes, what do us being a dentist? Are we supposed to pay service tax or GST file? Dentist, can, Vijay, can you go ahead again? Are we supposed to pay service tax and file? No, no. As as on today, if you are running a industry, service industry, a cosmetic chain of cosmetic clinic, chain of dental clinic, where your uh, amount is going about twenty lakhs for the business, you may come under service tax for the health people, doctor. Yet that is been excluded. I don't know what is going to be the future, but as on today, uh, you you are not coming under the service tax individually. Thank, thank you. Yeah, Pushpa. Yeah, Doctor Pushkar, you can go ahead. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, dear. Good afternoon. Actually, the, uh, there are two questions. One question is that now the Consumer Protection Act. Now medical field has also been put in here. Is like uh, you are uh, checking running competition. of duck along with that of uh, lion because in each case you will have different uh, outcome so is isn't it a good idea to have uh, something related only to medical field that medical act or something and do you see any possibility in future i'll tell you medical law field has got a huge possibilities i see why i say this why i was saying from long back medical legal field is going to have a, another greatest fastest growing field in this country why i say because whatever happens in developed country happens in developing countries after few years you can see any of the businesses or any of the services if you see uk and usa 94% doctor are been having a case against them so in india it is going to be the same so in future if you ask me medical law practice are going to be the best known field secondly if you see the development nabh accreditation which become a mandatory by the government authorities every hospital we are going for nabh accreditation the entry line entry line or entry level they are demanding medico legal awareness program so every hospital are going to need a medico legal consultant in very near future and being a consumer protection act allowing a people to you know authorized representative to argue the matter for the patient and doctor in the court of law the medical legal expert are going to be the great supporter to their professional or could be the patient so if you ask me as per the growth of the country medical law is going to grow like anything so my request to every single professional here could be dental could be homeopath could be ayurved could be allopath could be any surgeon please 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 knowledge always pays you back i am still a student today i have to know multiple post graduation course i have done my phd i have done the multiple certification course today also i strongly believe in education because education returns me back a lot so if you do medical legal consultant program and make a legal consultant if not for the society for yourself it is going to be benefited but for society you will be searched by the people you will be really tracked by the people because now patients are going to need a medical legal consultant it is not a doctor only now 99% population 130 crore population are going to need a medical legal expert a specialized people like they are going to specialized doctor like plastic surgeon or they are going to the hospital cosmetic or they are going to the ophthalmic or they are going to ortho surgeon same way future in a law practice patient are going to search specialized field people like criminology the civil advocate then medical legal advocate then ipr advocate so if you have done medical legal i can i can with all conviction say yes future is definitely going to be there so it is choice is yours if you want uh, uh, the global is helping in making them medical legal program handler you can be a part that there you learn about the answering of notices drafting documentation every aspect rather you can understand 18 years of my experience you are getting at go ahead at one stage that is flagship program you can definitely ask them they will help you in knowing more about the same yes sir actually that was my second question i you already answered that thank you sir thank so you you can much. speak to global people their numbers are there yes and sir, otherwise yes, also yes. i'll tell global and doctors people to call you and take a more information if you are interested go ahead with that i'll definitely advise that yes sir thank you sir thank you very much yeah sir yeah dr shalendra can you uh, go ahead shalendra gupta 
Sharan Gupta, I have unmuted yourself. You can unmute yourself and speak. Yes, sir. Yes, I'm Sharan Gupta from Gujarat. I'm yeah. orthopedic surgeon. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask about the written consent. Yeah, please. Uh, most of the patients are illiterate. They cannot write anything. So you write it you, for them. <clears throat> you have ans already answered about the video consent. So uh, if the whole language is written by them, and one of the languages that you can die during anesthesia, you can lose any part if you find an infection. I so know they will run away. Which patient will allow us? Number one question. No, I'll tell you. I, I, I got your I got your question. Number, Shalanda, number, let me number, two question. Sir, number two question. Government government asked for NABH. They need everything specified. They need medical legal expert. They need trained nurses, which takes about 20, 25,000 per month salary. And our most of the people are not able to pay with the half of the rate. They need everything. Government need everything, everything from us. But the Ayushman gives humorous plating 15,000, 15,000 package in which the operative material plate is cruise and anesthesia does not cover and they give only 15,000 and we have to follow this scheme with this compulsion. So don't you feel the doctor is the fullest person in India. Doctor is the fullest person in India. Doctor is the criminal person in India who loot the praja, who loot the public. Do you feel that in 15,000? I, I am a doctor, so I can feel you better. No, sir, I was a doctor, so I can feel you better. But I'll tell you, I'll tell you, Shailendra, cut, cut to you short. Uh, it is only because we are not united. We, if you are really united, na, laws are going to go for you. So people who are united in the country, you go and see all the people who are united in the country, laws are there in their favor. If at all we are united, the mm. capping would have been definitely possible in a medical negligence cases, like a capping in Aishman or capping in any other treatment. But truly speaking, we are now not a professional. We are now a business persons. And there is a huge rivalry between our two professionals. And that is yeah, causing no. a benefit to the government and all other consumers against us. Mm. I can go with your pain. I can understand your pain. And this is really a, a time where we need to think because all the laws which are coming are a consumer friendly laws. The tomorrow, it is going to be a really tough time for the doctors. But now we are in a country where we need to follow such a regulations and rules. Unless we unite and fight for us, it is not going to be possible. Hello. About the consent, I'll add on to that. I'll help you in that. About the consent. Only thing is that keep no what, is what, the and the the says, European European says, you, uh, in, in that uh, case, uh, law says that there should not be blank space. There should not be a, a thing which can be termed as a common consent. In that cases, you can have a printed form mentioning everything, but not having a blank space, not having a signature. You can have just single page or with a short description of writing in their hand or by anyone. And putting that annexure has been already explained to me. Somewhere you need to take out the way out for safeguarding yourself, which does not come under the ratio of a judgment. So we can be protected in that front. Thank you. Yeah, next, uh, Pawan. Pawan, can you hear me? Pawan, I have allowed you to speak. Pramod, I have allowed you to speak. You can go ahead. Shalaka, I have allowed you to speak. You can unmute yourself and can speak to me if you yeah. wish. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah, Shalaka, Shalaka I can hear you. Yeah, please. Yeah, uh, my question was, since it is uh, for every procedure, you have to customize your informed consent. So same way, I understood that. Uh, same way, if you have a, a patient's information sheet separate from the consent form, is it valid in court of law? See, I'll tell you, you need to make some out, some or uh, some other way out. And in separate sheet must be for every procedure must be different. See, yes. after the case of Kashmira Kohli, it mm, is very clearly defined sir. about about the real consent and informed consent. Right. In a real consent, they said ki, it is not necessary to inform a rarest rare thing, like what my earlier friend has talked mm. about death, what we understand about DICs. So rarest rare thing, if it not been mentioned, it does not going to harm us. But we need to mention everything, inform a patient 
so real consent and informed consent both hand to hand goes in that particular judgment so for every procedure when there is different complication for every procedure when there is alternatives differently available you need to have a separate consent paper for all sir are we following real consent uk style or us style informed consent so it is on you today we are actually various judgment which came there after has talked about informed consent multiple mm -hmm. judgment so what judiciary has interpreted with that particular case was more focused towards the informed consent but practically speaking both has got the same meaning with a very minor difference in that can we use therapeutic privilege in some kind of cases sir if it can justify in a court of law yes you can yeah, go ahead yeah with proper documentation with proper documentation i mean yeah 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 then you can if you feel that it is going to help the occupation you can okay thank you sir thank you ravishankar you can go ahead ravishankar i have unmuted yourself so people who are already unmuted can speak to me one by one i have already unmuted so that we can save a time if no one uh, is shall there, i talk yeah please pramod please pramod ha huh. i wanted uh, mm -hmm. i have two three questions i have uh, submitted them in the chat box but i can talk personally yeah please uh, one is in uh, uh, corporation many times takes a uh, uh, objection to transferring the nursing home if we have sold to a qualified doctor also so that way uh, the seller is at a loss sort of the seller does not get good price if it is not going to be nursing home no doctor will purchase that for corporation see rules any rules which is framed against the act is null and void so it is all oral nowhere written things has been done that you see i'll tell you in our country one thing is very clear various judgment says that ki life is yeah, a prime yeah. yeah i am not able to come on yeah please <coughs> Trying to put it under some difficulty. Yeah, Pramod, please. Ah, uh, you were uh, explaining, na? Or you have finished? No, no, you. Regarding this corporation thing. Hello. Yeah, yeah, Pramod, please go ahead, Doctor Pramod. Ah, no, please give your explanation, sir, about this. What is the way out? Because the hospital at the time of sanction, say twenty-five years back, whatever rules were there, the nursing home was sanctioned at that time now if we sell then if the uh, it is not going to remain a hospital then we are at a loss no nursing home registration if you go with the act different state has got different act i tell you yeah. somewhere now it is clinical establishment act and somewhere nursing home act if you are registered as a, if i can understand your question if it is registered under the corporation as a nursing home uh, of your center then yeah. you are having a privilege of doing everything which is mentioned under the act yeah but only thing when it is to be transferred they to be made in somebody else's name say uh, i sell it to some orthopedic surgeon or anybody you can you then, can uh, who block you i don't know i have not seen that you be blocked for the better of the patient there is no question of block but the uh, hospital license they many times uh don't give they are very reluctant to hand over the license to the new person they say that you practice as long as you are there no But no 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 a nursing home license if you get i i see i don't know which state and which district you play maharashtra, practice maharashtra. but maharashtra na the maharashtra nursing home act very clearly talks about this you can have a, any number of visiting consultant you can refer a patient to a various hospital if you are a, suppose a gynecologist you cannot treat a orthopedic patient so you need to take a help of orthopedic no, no. or refer a patient I, suppose somebody wants to sell the hospital and get out that time if the if the new doctor is going to get the license then uh, he will take a good uh, this thing some good amount of money he is not going to get license uh -huh. i can understand that because if you need to have a some medical director appointed to your hospital see rules are going to change very soon see olden rules are there but now maharashtra in a uh, very progressive state and uh, going to adopt very soon clinical establishment act so once that act will come maharashtra clinical the whole rules are going to change in our country so just wait for some more time the uh, other thing is uh, how can we uh, sort of make efforts to appoint a larger bench of judiciary which will give a verdict whether this inclusion and exclusion of doctors you have to approach the judiciary and request to that yeah and so judiciary 
at all feel Over. see if at all two benches judiciary feels that we can interpret so they will not going to refer to larger bench if it is a question in a large then yes definitely larger bench can be prescribed where there is a very clear ambiguity of the law for the interpretation purpose it is a judiciary who decides about the benches what they want because they are they are not about the law maker in our country hierarchy the superiority is the parliament once parliament made as any act even supreme court cannot do anything unless it is ultra virus to the constitution when it yeah, is aligned with the constitution supreme that court cannot do it shanta case supreme court did it, uh, that thing the doctors are under uh, they interpreted yes. the law like that yes on along so they have interpreted mm -hmm. they have just interpreted the law they have not changed the law and what the law is last same. question only interpretation is done why cannot be their compensation as in motor accident uh, vehicle accident act why there cannot be capping of compensation so naturally enough for the purpose of the same we need to proceed to the court for equality but a motor accident act is different they have defined see law makers are very clear when they talk about the well being of the citizen of the country so every act which is get enacted by the parliament or assembly has been multiple times discussed by these people and experts and bureaucrats then comes in the domain of the act because once it has been passed only judiciary can interpret cannot change the law a law can only be changed by so instead of going to higher bench we can go to parliament we can go to assembly to amend the act so that benefit can be given to the people for the purpose of that unity is needed and we are not united Yeah, agreed. Thank you. Yes, Ravi Shankar, can you hear me? You can go ahead if you have got any questions or any person who wish to ask. I have unmuted. Uh, Meninges, Meninges also I have unmuted. Yes, Doctor Arun Mishra, first of all, uh, I really appreciate the fantastic job you're doing, and I really found it very enlightening. Thank I you, just thank you, know, sir. I read somewhere that only a paying patient who pays cash. Uh, can file a case in consumer court is this true or not no can you repeat please only a patient who pays money for yeah, treatment yeah, yeah. can file a case I'll, in a I'll consumer court i'll just give you a difference i'll just give you a difference paying a money and not paying a money i'll tell you what the meaning of that hmm. patient has not paid the money but agreed to pay the definition said agreed to pay or paid so if your hospital or your clinic is charging one patient not 99% patient then also you come under consumer fora and if i am a patient in 99 sector i have not paid you but one patient has paid to you i can go against you in court of law so in matter of payment because it is said agreed or if treated now the new consumer protection act has brought a purview of ccpa which i talked the consumer protection council here the patient patient who are not came to you the person who never ever have been seen by you not been treated mm -hmm. by you but he feel yeah. that it is in larger interest he can file a pil he can go to the consumer protection council for violation of any of the law under cpa the new law has made possible for every single person but what if the patient refuses to pay he, he you have got remedy to pay. to court, court of law i said na all the remedies we don't mm -hmm. opt for remedies i have already spoken on that in medical legal services you got all the remedies to file a recovery case against the patient if they don't pay see greatest plus point that no, no, you got a record that you under payment but if he if he has not paid he has defaulted in payment he has not paid a single rupee and then he but doesn't matter case. no you can file valid? a case against him yeah. see you have got a fixed pattern of practice if suppose you have, you have issued a bill of 10000 rupees to the patient for your opt consultation and patient has refused to pay and paid mm. not paid to you for the 10000 you can go to mm. civil court and uh, file a recovery suit and if you can prove that this guy has uh, this is the bill not paid their property can be shown to the court and court can auction their property and make you good for the 10000 rupees but that never happens the doctor you know it that happens i have done in cases i have happen. done in one appendix case by 35000 mm -hmm. i recovered from the patient from civil court we don't go to the court that okay. is different question it does not happen is absolutely yeah. wrong we don't take a step that is a right you take a but step you will get answer also file medical legal case pardon can such a patient file medical legal case can such a patient, patient, patient file medical legal case you? yes patient can file, file a medical legal, legal case who is not paid to you Okay. Okay. Thank you. Right. Uh, anyone else who want to ask any question? Almost everyone I have 
unmuted i feel sulba saluke sulba saluke any question you got in your mind probably i have handled all the questions here who have raised a hand for all the people who have put a question in question answer box or in chat box i will try to revert them in their email ids about the questions or you are free to ask me question on my email id on my number on whatsapp i'll answer to your question if i have not taken today friend you are almost two hours with me i can understand uh, how important time you invested for upgrading your knowledge i will again tell the best defense today is to have a good indemnity policy on doctors medical legal services the best defense to have a medical legal service policies best defense to have a legal education medical legal education global is there to help you in all sort of education best thing is to have a continuous medical legal tips and interaction with the medical legal service people these are the thing which you are going to protect in here after because laws are law and laws are going to trouble us we need to have a good people around us to safeguard ourselves i have surrendered my medical degree for cause of my doctors you can trust and you can call me any time for any help because you are helping a society at large with all this i really thank global people for organizing such a great session for uh, their delegates i really thank all the people who have taken out time to get such a knowledge and interact with me to understand the law in the way they wanted probably i have done my job friend we are there to provide the webinars to all the people who are interested free of cost so if you got your association wanted to have any talk whichever association i am not talking about specialization i have spoken to every specialization it could be anesthetic it could be pcp ndt it could be ivf it could be any law and medical law in 18 years touched uh, i have got that much uh, knowledge and experience where i can speak on any topic on medical law so you can if your association want your whatsapp group want your group want your uh, local association want you can call me i will help you with all knowledges my focus is to reduce the litigation and increase the reputation of a doctor with a doctors desk organization in mumbai i am already there serving my doctors if you want you can part to that particular organization and spread the message to our professional so that they can be protected with this i really thank you all for being with me and expect such a interactive session in future if any program is happening in the future we will definitely update you if you got a time do join such a program to upgrade your knowledge for medical legal consultant program like pushkar has inquired any one of you wanted can call me or a global people and please be a part to serve your society at large become a medical legal consultant part your knowledge and best way of learning is educating so start spreading a knowledge of medical awareness so that we will have a great time in the future with this i really thank you and call upon the meeting yes ashish you got anything to speak i have seen your hand raising right now so before i close yeah ashish ashish you can go ahead okay if there is no question friend no harm uh, we are always there you can speak to me on phone no problem you can call me i'll i'm there to help you out so thank you very much thank you very much thanks friends and i call upon a day today thank you